Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash of Kings. So guys, if you're new to channel, please subscribe and visit channel. If you focus on trips and tricks regarding Clash of Kings, you'll get all the necessary data and details for each and every event over this channel. So guys, in the previous video, if we're going to recall them, the first video is about the infantry HP, how to achieve 1000% of the infantry HP. After that, we have made a video on how to reach out at least 140% plus of the infantry damage and the third one is about the basic attack and basic defense guys how to achieve out 65% of infantry basic attack as well as 55% plus of the infantry basic defense guys so after all these things last but not the least today we are going to talk about the enhancement because if you want to be a strongest player in for the infantry units you need to work on the enhancement well so in today's video we are going to talk about the enhancement skill that you should focus on on each of the unit from t14 to t9 guys we are going to cover each and everything i'm going to tell you what is the maximum enhancement level you should work on with that particular one after that we are also going to tell you that what are the basic the most priority of the enhancement skill that you should focus for sure guys so this video is going to be very much interesting guys so please watch till end it is going to be very much helpful for the infantry players who are seeking out for better of the growth for their castle guys so let's begin the video without wasting time let's start with the one guys for the enhancement you know that you need to visit out the prayer hall for sure guys and the prayer hall is consisting of the enhancement two different one first one is the enhancement second one is the transfer transfer is for those ones who are spender because a non-spender cannot transfer out skill because it is going to consume a lot of the materials for sure guys if we talk about the prayer hall guys it is having different of the unit all the four units infantry cavalry archer and siege of each quality from t14 to the uh, particular of we can say 2t9 everything is being covered out here guys and if we talk about the infantry let's start with the t14 of the infantry uh, t14 of the infantry is basically focused on the defending skills of heads guys so if you are going for the enhancement of the t14 of the infantry i must recommend you to go with 50 level max guys because 50 level is being very much uh uh, supporting for infantry units you don't need to max it out to the level 80 or 90 uh, sorry 80 or 60 uh, we know that some of the skills or enhancement level of some of the troops like t12 is up to the 60 only then uh, we are having t13 which is having 80 now we have t14 which is also having maximum low of 80 so the thing is that it is a defensive troop and if you are able to unlock each and every of this particular single of the skill to at least a level of 50 then it will definitely going to work the best from your side guys if we talk about the skill the first one is the embrace of holy light it is going to give you the uh, reduce the damage received by 13 percentile the infantry awakening is going to increase the hp of this particular troops after that the impartial verdict is going to give you the accuracy rate for the enemy targets and the uh, an eye for an eye is going to give you the 18 uh, some of the percentile for the counter attack feature guys so the thing is that you should at least work up to level 50 for sure if you are infantry castle guys keep that in mind if you are infantry castle only then you should focus on this particular one else you can go with 32 to 35 percent for sure it will be enough for some of the help during the defense hours guys okay now let's come to the next troop that is the t13 of the infantry let me tell you about this particular troop it is the most prestigious troop that is being available in the t uh for the infantry units for sure guys because it is having the maximum of the hitting feature as well as the offensive feature in this particular troop it is one of the kind of the offensive troop for the infantry units and if we talk about his enhancement all of those things let me tell you that what are the top three enhancement skills that you should focus on the first priority the first priority skill is going to be the blessing guys you need to cover this one for sure it is going to increase the defense at certain level okay the second important skill that you should focus on is the trial one guys because it is going to give you the additional damage to the target with some of the range unit additionally captured on after that the third but 
important unit is going to be the sanction guys because this is going to give you the uh, dodge rate increment and it will definitely going to increase the damage towards the griffin knights of the opponent means it is going to this focus skill is going to help out to uh, counter on the griffin of the opponent guys so these are the first three priority if you want to do you can also go with the divine authority but my recommendation is to go with the level 50 at least for first three skills that i have mentioned on the blessing trial and sanction these three should be your first priority to achieve at least a level of 50 okay you can also go with level of 60 also but level 50 will be enough if you are using it for sure guys keep that in mind that if you are using these enhancement skills keep that in mind that you should have a appropriate hp for your trust because if you don't have a good bloodline then it will not work very well for your side guys so damage and bloodline is going to affect a lot for the enhancement if you have everything at the max level of enhancement and you don't have that much stats to provide an assurance for the better effectivity than it is all waste guys so keep that in mind okay this is about t13 i mentioned you to get at least level 50 for the first three one and for the divine authority the fourth one you can go with any around 30 to 40 you can go with any of the level it's up to you whether you want to go on with or not you can also let it be 50 if you want to but it is not being very much effective you can cover the top three for sure guys now let's come to the next one that is the t12 of the infantry guys t12 of the infantry is a very good defensive troops and it is well known for its defensive feats here guys so if we talk about the defensive feature the maximum level of the t12 troops of enhancement is level 60 and for this one guys let me tell you that the priority basis first the first priority is going to be the advanced shield wall guys because it is going to reduce the damage received by certain number and after that it also reduces the damage received by all units by certain percentile guys so this skill is very much useful guys the second priority for us is going to be advanced grid guys this is going to increase the hp for your troops means it will help them to provide a certain hp that will help them to take the damage and survive well guys after that the third important skill is going to be the steel armor guys this steel armor is going to increase the defense of your troops it will help them uh, to increase the defending probability and capability for sure guys so if we talk about these skills guys the maximum level that you should go on with the t12 of the infantry troops is going to be level 50 first three that i mentioned on should be covered out at least a level of 50 and if you want you can go with the advanced shield the fourth one else you can leave it around 30 to 35 level it's not going to help that much but the main three that i mentioned you should be at least level of 50 for sure of the enhancement card now let's come to the t11 of the infantry again one of the offensive troop of the infantry unit and is very capable for both the offensive as well as defending purpose guys that's why we always used to keep a huge amount of soldiers in our castle for defending rallies guys because these troops are very much effort during the rallies and they have a very keen hit during the counter attack so if we talk about the enhancement keep that in mind in this particular one the enhancement level should be the max for sure i must suggest you to go with the level 60 if you are able to but if you don't able to reach out level 60 whatever level you want to reach on keep that in thing is that you should achieve each and every level at the one all the four skills of this particular troop is going to be very much important i must recommend you to go all the four one and if you want to do not want to upgrade every one of them to the level of 60 then i must recommend you to go with only two to level of 60 rest two you can leave at level 50 that will perform very well guys so the first one that is going to be at the first priority is going to be the dragon in the wind it is going to give you the chance of certain damage increase the percentile of damage to the enemy troops for sure and the second one is going to be the critical hit guys it is going to give you the critical damage increase by a certain percentile with a certain percentile 
of activating that critical damage guys so these are the two skills dragon in the wind and critical hill should be at least level 60 and the four the next two one the sharpness and the advanced spikes you can leave it to level 50 for sure guys so this is about the level 11 and if we talk about level 10 you don't need to go with that particular one you don't need to uh, upgrade its skill you can be able to achieve it by just level 20 upgrade it to level 20 if we talk about level 9 troops of for the infantry guys for the level 9 the two of the the sweep one that is going to give you additional chance of damage to the nearby uh, enemy and it is going to be very much effective during the defensive battle the sweep one and the critical hit one these are the two you useful skills that you should upgrade on so for t9 of the infantry i should recommend you to go around 35 to 40 level and you can upgrade it each and every one out because it is going to be very much helpful for different of the battle for the infantry unit both the offensive and defensive guys so i have mentioned all the ways of around here guys these are the personal soldiers that you need to work on for sure for the enhancement what is the level what is the uh, importance that they are facing on or giving the buffs in our battle i have mentioned everything from skill to the enhancement level so i think that this video is going to be very much informative for you if you really find the video information useful please hit the like and subscribe button for sure i will be back with another video as soon as possible till then keep going with gamers forum thank you guys